How's it going guys? It's your boy Swift and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to create this. And the programs we're going to be using today is Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. And without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Hey, how's it going guys? It's your boy Swift and welcome back to another video. As you guys can tell by the title, thumbnail, and the intro of this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a YouTube logo. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The program we're going to be using today is Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. So let's jump right into it. We're going to click on this Create New button right above Open. Click on that. And I already have a preset. I already have these presets right here to um, open up Photoshop every time and make those. So I have a a thumbnail I have a YouTube channel banner and another one and I have the logo so I'm gonna click on the logo and the dimensions are for well, the width is 800 the height is 800 and the background is transparent you can take a screenshot of this or you can pause the video go on your computer and install this preset onto your Photoshop and then you want to click on this blue create button right next to close click on the blue create button and it should make you a square right here 800 by 800 so now I'm gonna go into Google and I'm gonna search up grunge background so I'm gonna click on this images button and it should load up alright guys now that it's loaded I'm just gonna find a nice image so uh, we're probably gonna go for one of this I think should do the right job so now that it's loaded I think we're gonna be picking one of these right here I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pick this one because I like, kind of like blue um, logos or banners for YouTube channels it makes it really like more HD so um, we're gonna add this into Photoshop and let it just load for the HD alright so I'm just gonna right click and click save as and I'm gonna save it to my desktop yeah click save I'm just gonna drag this into Photoshop and it should do this thing here and I'm gonna click shift and alt and click control T and then click shift and alt at the same time drag this up to maybe up to here we'll do it to maybe up to here just click enter and then uh, we're just gonna click right click on it and click extract and over here we're gonna call this blue background all right so now we're gonna add in some lighting and stuff like that so we're gonna go another layer and actually this one we're just gonna make this like maybe a blue type maybe just a blue so we're gonna go for like this type of blue maybe here maybe we'll do we're just gonna make this less so we're gonna add in some lighting we're just gonna go here to google again we're gonna type up city so we're gonna go city right here in the search bar city city and then we're gonna try and find an image with a nice city pretty much hd and we're gonna add it into our logo add some lighting add some text maybe add your social media on your logo to make it more better maybe just in case so i'll give it to you guys once all the images are loaded all right guys now the images are loaded so i'm gonna probably add maybe i'm pretty sure I'll probably add this background because it looks really nice now that is hd so i'm gonna right click on it and click save image as i'm gonna save this onto my desktop so I'm gonna drag this in to my Photoshop and I'm just gonna click tick control a and I'm gonna center these and click control D click control T and then shift and alt to make this bigger then we're gonna add this right underneath this layer and here maybe we're gonna add the opacity a little bit more and this should be underneath this we should put down the opacity maybe by a little bit like so and this will be underneath so this shows kind of looks cool and then we're going to actually add the lighting so we're going to go into google and we're going to search up lighting png lightning like some of the lighting lightning png like images of lightning and we're just going to take away if there is a black part of it we're just going to take it away and just a white part and add it to the logo and yeah so this might be good right here I really like that so we're going to take that image and we're actually going to add it into Photoshop once this is finished loading. All right, guys, now that it's loaded, just want to right click on it and click save image as. I'm going to save it again to my desktop, so click save. And I'm going to drag it into my Photoshop right about here. I'm just going to maybe put it up a little bit, maybe like here. And this is really, really right. So I'm going to hold all of this up to here, right click merge layers, and just call this. And then we're going to click on the T on your keyboard to take it to your text tool. You want to click on it and you want to type in whatever you want. So uh, I'm just going to call it name and I'm just going to make it a different color so maybe black I'm gonna center this right in the middle control a and go to your move tool and center this in the middle and then click control T and just click shift that all together and move this up maybe a little bit and then click move it on an angle and then click in time I'm going to go to FX color overlay and pick a color so maybe like a nice gray maybe a white I'm gonna click 
on outer glow. Uh, change this to maybe black. K okay. normal noise zero. Make the noise zero. That's like a hundred size pretty much. It, but the outer glow actually we'll just make it stroke. Click on stroke. Uh, we're gonna make this like a nice blue. So maybe like here. Click on OK and OK. And then we're just going to make the lightning a little bit bigger because it kind of look as you guys can see here. It looks like it's been cut with scissors. So we're actually going to make this a little bit bigger. So click Control T and just move this a little bit up to here maybe and move it like so. Click Enter and drag this to here maybe. That looks sick. Now again, we're going to make this text layer have an outer glow. So we're going to make this outer glow like a nice, maybe like a nice dark blue. Like for example here. So, okay, we're going to make this pretty cool. That looks sick. And that is how I make my logo for YouTube. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like below. Let's smash 20 likes on this video if you can hit that. Comment below what you thought on this video and what you want the next video to be about. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already for more daily content. Turn on my YouTube channel notifications so whenever I upload you can be notified and you can watch my videos before anyone else can. And follow my Twitter so that every time I upload a video there will be a link shot in that tweet. You can just click on it and watch my video straight off there. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and signing out. Peace.